Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a Friendly Fins project for you today. This is actually a case. Um, demonstrators get an email once a week with some fun info in it. There's always a project or two in it as well. And this one was in last week's uh, email and I loved it. So I thought, let's make it. Um, it's a pretty easy card. Um, we're gonna actually use something a little bit different than they use, the enamel effects to make these little bubbles. All right. We're gonna do a lot of stamping, or a lot of, well, a little bit of stamping and a lot of die cutting. These dies, um, there's a lot of fun opportunities with these dies, and so we'll cut out several things to use in our, our project. Now we're gonna use the dolphins, and we're gonna stamp the dolphins first in Memento Black, and it's a two-step stamping process. So you're gonna stamp the outline first in Memento Black, and then the inside image in Smoky Slate. And I'm gonna get the little dolphin. You can see I've done this on the project before. And I'm gonna stamp off on grid paper first, just because I want it to be lighter. I don't want it to be real dark. I'm gonna line it up and carefully lay that down. All right, so stamp again, stamp off, and line that up. Now, if you're having trouble getting these lined up, you can try it the other way. Um, stamp this image first, like that, and then stamp this one over it. You can play around and see which way is better. I don't know, that one is pretty good, except for I, I messed up when I laid my stamp down. Okay, so there are our dolphins. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in Summer Splash. We're gonna cut that out with a little die that's an online exclusive, um, a little banner from the um, Happy Little Things dies. All right, we're also gonna cut out uh, two of these uh, corals um, in um, Summer Splash. We're gonna cut out two fish, and I forgot to grab the uh, flirty flamingo, which is what I use, but I have a little piece of calypso coral here left over from the last video, so we'll just use that. And then one other little, I guess like a sea, um, sea plant, and we'll cut that out of granny apple green. All right, we're also going to emboss while we're here as well, but let's do the die cutting first. All right, I'm going to get, this is the happy little things banner. We're going to put that on our sentiment and then we'll grab our dolphin and we'll put him right there. We're going to get our little fish over here, our little kelp and our coral. Let's see, can I get this all to fit on here? There we go. Now the one I really need to make sure stays in its place are, well, the dolphin and the sentiment. We don't want them to slide around. So carefully go through, making sure everything stays in place. That one did not. All right, we'll pull that one out. Let's see if we can fix it before it goes through. All right, I think we saved it. There we go. Okay, and then we'll take, I'm gonna just take my, take your pick tool and you just poke these out like that. We're gonna cut two of each of these. So I'm gonna put this back on here. We also are gonna cut out one of the, the large coral pieces, I guess is what you would call it. It's a, like kind of like a swim through coral piece right here and we're going to put that on our piece of basic white like that it just barely fits let's see if our dolphin will fit there we can take this one off got that all right let's see if we can get this all on here okay let's get this situated let me pull this, make sure we've got the whole piece on there. Yep. Okay. Run it through. Like 
that. And again, let's get that. Take your pick tool. I find that it's easier to peel it from the, the little top skinny part than it is the bottom. Poke that through. All right, now we've got one dolphin and we've got another dolphin. And then here is this big piece. And you just wanna poke that through and pull it out. There we go. We're gonna get the So Swirly Embossing Folder. And this is a new embossing folder, it's really big. I'm gonna set my card base in there and I just want the front. So I'm gonna line up the, t the edge right here with the, the fold in my card. And this is a standard embossing folder. So we're gonna take out plate number two and we're gonna lay down our clear plates. And we will feed this through. There we go. Let's check it out. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? All right, let's fold it. There we go. You can use whichever side you like. I think I like that side better. I'm not going to see a whole lot of it, but you can decide which one you want to use. Okay, now let's prepare our piece here. Um, we're going to use um, Coastal Cabana, and I'm going to do kind of this light little swirl here, and I'm going to take my small reinker, re and I don't want it to be very dark, so I'm going to run it off here first, and then I'm going to take it right here and just kind of swirl out. Okay, so I have a little blue hole, blue watering hole there. Okay, now I'm gonna take our uh, little piece of coral and this time I'm gonna use Petal Pink and I'm just gonna take this and just kind of rub it all over. I don't want it to be real uniform. Being splotchy is good because it would be kind of like that in real life. And then I've also got my Petal Pink Stampin' Blends, and I'm gonna flick ink on here like that. Give it even more texture. Okay. All right, I think we're ready to put this together. Let's start with our coral. A little swim through piece of, maybe it's a rock, maybe it's coral, I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna put dimensionals. All right, well, I just ruined that one. Let's get another one. One there, and then let's see if I can fit one up here. All right, I'm gonna put that about right there. All right, now let's get our little dolphins. They're so cute. Dolphins just look happy, don't they? All right, I'm gonna have this guy jumping up like that. And this guy kind of going down like, mm, let's have him coming down like that. All right, now I'm gonna add in my coral. I'm gonna put a couple of them right here. So I'll take my summer splash and I want it to go behind. And then our granny apple green, a little piece of kelp. And then I'm gonna have one coming out from here and then one on the front. You can use glue dots here too, if you'd like, with these little skinny ones. Okay, and then make a splash. I think the best option for this would be many dimensional since it's pretty narrow. And we're gonna put that right there. All right. Now, our little fish, we're gonna have them coming down here. And we'll use your take your pick tool that will help you pick those up and put them down where you want them. Like that. All right, now we're gonna add bubbles to this, but before we do, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my card base. 
This uh, enamel effects takes quite a while to dry. I would give it at least 30 minutes. Uh, so it's gonna be the very last thing that I do. And I'm gonna tell you, every time I use crystal effects, I tell you guys, go set it in a window seal somewhere where you're not gonna set something on top of it. Cause I can't tell you how many times I have done that. I've put crystal effects on something and I set it over there on the desk. And the next thing I know, I have set something down on it and now it's ruined. So don't do that. All right, so I'm just gonna start by putting little and I like to pull up on them. It looks like a little Hershey Kiss shape. When it dries, it'll be a rounded bead. All right, and just a little squeeze. You might wanna practice ahead of time on something. If you ever did puffy paint in the 90s, that's what this reminds me of. We used to make puffy paint shirts for football games in high school. And that's exactly what this reminds me of. Okay, really fun. But you know what? Let's add just a couple of blue bubbles. These are, these have a fun name. Dots for days, adhesive backed dots for days, which are really fun. So I'm just gonna take and put a few of these around and Call it a day. There we go. All right, now remember, set it in a window seal so that it doesn't get squished. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Check out my other Friendly Fens projects. Let me know if you have questions and happy stamping. Bye, everybody.